Cesarean section or C-section is a modern medical surgical procedure that has saved the lives of countless mothers and infants during childbirth. But we've seen a sharp increase over the years. From 1990 until now, the rate of C-section has more than tripled. And these are non-elective, meaning this isn't the mother electing for cesarean section, it is under the doctor's discretion. And what is alarming is that we're seeing more and more adverse health effects play out in the lives of both the mother and the child. Just this August in JAMA, which is the Journal of the American Medical Association, there was a study published that showed a 33% increase in autism and a 17% increase in ADHD. So what's happening here? In this video, we'll take a look at this a little bit more closely and go into the reasoning and the possible mechanisms that these links to autism and ADHD are occurring. Welcome back to the channel where we are dedicated to a happier, healthier you through a more natural, balanced, and holistic health approach. Let's talk about C-section and autism. So this is quite an alarming find. 33% increase in autism when an infant is delivered via C-section. So what could possibly be contributing to this? The major thing that is suspected to be, and it is not said in the journal article, that speculation really could not be accurately investigated or, or put within that paper. They just stated the findings. But what most clinicians and researchers are and physicians are finding and discovering is that it is due to the gut-brain access and that when you are delivered through a vaginal birth, you are inoculated with your mother's bacteria profile. And that's both on your skin and in, in your uh, oral route that gets into your digestive system. And all those, those healthy bacteria and bacteria profile, those colonize and are able to provide the proper immunological function, your immune system, uh, protect and develop your, your brain, yeah, and your metabolism, and a host of other things that is very, very important uh, when you give birth. So if you have a C-section, you open up and you take the baby out, you're not exposed to those very important organisms that are going to colonize that infant's uh, gut and then allow for the proper development. So this is, not, this is not too much of a revelation as research in the last really 10 years in particular has just exploded. It's really started from celiacs um, and a few other conditions that are taking a look at this gut-brain access and what it can do uh, to both either help us or hinder us. And so as we see this, this uh, correlation with autism and, and cesarean section, it is no doubt, in, at least in part, due to the absence of that uh, vaginal bacterial profile that the baby would be inoculated with. In addition to the autism correlation, there is also that 17% increase in ADHD as well. Now, in other studies, there maybe it's not quite as definitive as this in this JAMA article that was just recently published in August, but there is a very strong correlation with other neurological or psychological uh, issues such as depression. So, some physicians and researchers have suggested to, if you are delivered by C-section, they're thinking like, well, how can we mitigate these risks and this increased chance of a child developing these type of neurological or psych uh, psychological disorders. And one of them is to, once you're once given birth via C-section, since you're not going through the vaginal canal, and believing that that is what is contributing to this, is to swab the infant with the mother's vaginal bacteria. Or swab, you know, take a sample of the mother's vaginal wall and swab the baby with that to inoculate it but basically in an artificial sense instead of coming straight through the through the vaginal chute we and, and experiencing that uh, through through that through that canal we can just swab swab the infant and that should do just as well 
However, there isn't there there isn't a definitive say on that. So some people would advocate against that. So they really haven't come to a consensus, but that that does seem to make sense, and that may be something that happens in the future. So this is just an emerging an emerging thing that we are seeing. So be conscious of it, be aware of it. And also, you know, cesarean section, like I said, it is a life-saving surgical procedure. And I don't know how many people we would have lost in the last, you know, since it was implemented if we didn't have, have C-sections. So it is extremely important, but we also see this trend where doctors are using it more and more. The rates have tripled from 1990. So what does that mean? It would appear to me that did the did uh, mothers in the 1990s not need C-section enough, or is C-section being thought of by doctors and being more more of a routine as oh this is a safe practice? We'll just you know the mother doesn't want to go through pain or she doesn't want to do this. We'll just you know more more apt to just go with c-section and so a lot of us also think that c-section is a safe thing and there's actually a, a host of uh, health consequences to both the mother and the baby when delivered via c-section if you're interested in more of that uh, please comment below and i can do another video that just goes through all of the different health consequences, uh, especially for the mother, the complications that can, she can have during and after the fact, her, her death risk, and so on and so forth. So if you're interested in that, I can do a video on that. Please leave a comment below. Let me know if you're interested. And uh, I hope that you found this interesting. It's quite alarming. Maybe you don't know if you were delivered by natural birth or C-section. That would be something to to uh, consider and look at and your own, um, do you have any uh, depression, ADHD, or any other type of neurological or psychological disorder um, that may be in part due to a C-section delivery. So something to consider, something to think, especially for uh, mothers, um, soon to be mothers, as you discuss these type of things with your doctor, you may want to make sure that th this is the absolute last course that you take, uh, C-section, the last course that you take, and absolutely avoid it if you can. Obviously, the, the life and the health of the mother and infant is ultimately the most important. So if needed, then by all means, C-section is a wonderful medical procedure. So please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I'd love to be have you here as a part of the community um, and with that said I will say goodbye for now take care to your health